hey friends welcome back if this is your first time watching one of my videos please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as we get into this video in today's video i will be introducing to you guys my new rubber base coat as well as showing you guys five five different ways in which you can use rubber base coat i will also show you guys how amazing this stainless steel top coat is as well I wanted to start out by showing you guys the consistency of a regular base coat. As you can see, it's kind of thin and a little watery. The main difference you'll notice between a regular base coat and a rubber base coat is the consistency. A rubber base coat is very thick. As you can see, it's taking a little bit of time for it to fall off of my brush. It's actually almost clinging to the brush if you see that. Now let's get into the details of this video where I show you a few different ways in which you can use this rubber base coat. The first way to use it is as a base coat <laughs> or it can be used to strengthen your natural nails. At the heart of this product, it is still a base coat. So you can use it um, in any technique in which you need a base coat, whether it's poly gel, um, applying a base coat under your gel polish, even using it as a slip solution for poly gel. Any way you can use a regular base coat, you can use a rubber base coat in the same way. If you are trying to grow your natural nails or add strength to your natural nails, this would be a great way to do that as well. If you use this product to grow or strengthen your natural nails, I do still suggest using a top coat. The second way you can use this product is as a primer. To apply this as a primer, you just take a thin layer and scrub it into your natural nail. I like to bring the base coat down to my nail where the tip meets my natural nail. You can bring it all the way down to the tip if you choose, it won't hurt either way. This has been the best way that I like to use rubber base coat because I've had a hard time finding a primer that actually works for me and that doesn't smell crazy. After you cure the base coat, then you can just go ahead and proceed with your regular acrylic application. The third way I like to use this rubber base coat is to adhere my full coverage nail tips. I already applied the base coat to my natural nail and I took my sanding band to roughen up the inside of the nail tip. I apply a thin layer everywhere that I roughened up the inside of the nail tip and I just brushed off the excess rubber base coat. Um, at the cuticle area and apply the tip to my nail. Once the tip was applied, I did cure it for 60 seconds. The fourth way you can use this rubber base coat is to build up a nail or strengthen nail enhancements. The first way to do this is to apply the base coat as you typically would in a brushing motion. This works best if you're applying thin layers and need more control of the base coat. You can apply as many layers as you like or what you feel is necessary to strengthen your nail enhancement. The second way you can do this technique is to apply a larger bead of base coat onto the nail and kind of just walk it down the nail. I have already done this method for you guys and I have a full tutorial so I will leave that video in the cards as well as the description box. In that video I did apply the same tips that you see here with my rubber base coat and I also used the brushing method to uh, add some strength to those nail tips. I had someone ask me how long the nails from that video lasted and they lasted two weeks and that is only because I decided to take them off after the two week mark. I plan to do another set and let you guys know how long they actually last. Between the curvature of the tip and the added layer of base coat, I love how this nail turned out. The fifth way I like to use my rubber base coat is to encapsulate. To encapsulate these foil flakes, I did apply a thin layer of rubber base coat. I did not cure it and I went in with my foil flakes. I would only suggest using this rubber base coat to encapsulate items that are thin like these foil flakes or thin pieces of glitter. I know some glitters are thick. I would not suggest doing that because you might have a hard time um, getting the base coat to fully cover that glitter. Also, whatever you choose to encapsulate, make sure that it is flat and there are no parts of it sticking up or that are rough before you go in with your second layer of base coat. 
once I finished applying my foil flakes to my liking, I cured that first layer. Now I'm going in with a second layer to cover up or encapsulate those flakes that I just added. After I did that, I went back in my lamp for a full 60 second cure. Once I came out of my lamp, I did file and buff my nail, as you can see here. And now I'm going to go in with my top coat. This is my new stainless steel top coat. It provides a great superior shine. Like your shine will last throughout the time, the entire time frame you wear your nails. Some top coats get kind of dull over the length of the wear, but this top coat does not do that. It is also scratch resistant for people who are kind of rough on their nails like me. Here is the finished product of the nail we were working on today. If you've tried this method or if you plan to try this method, leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I will have the rubber base coat and the stainless steel top coat for sale on my website on March 1st. You will be able to purchase them individually or as a set. Here is another clip of the stainless steel top coat in action. This is our Daydreamer glitter acrylic and just look how this top coat brought that to life. This was a set that I did for my daughter's birthday. Here are the nails three weeks later. You see that shine is still there. I also used the rubber base coat, no primer, and you see she has no lifting. She is still enjoying her nails, so I will give you guys another update before we decide to do a new set. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you are following me on social media because I will be revealing more new products on my Instagram page within the coming days. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.